Hello lovelies. All right, so like I mentioned in my last video, I've gotten back into my ball jointed dolls. And uh, one of the things I needed for my dolls was new eyes. So I did what I tend to do when I need to make things and I hit up Wish to look for crafting supplies. Um, I thought doing just one item would be a boring video. So I ordered a couple of things off of Wish, one of which I managed to lose uh, between receiving it and receiving everything else. So this is going to only be a three item review video instead of a four item. My bad on that. It was literally, it arrived. I put the package in a safe place. It's still safe for me. I'll probably find the package right after I actually post the video because that's how these things in my life work. So the first thing I ordered was, um, and I actually wrote down the names off of uh, wish this time so you would know exactly what I ordered. Six sizes silicone BJD doll eye mold resin casting pressure eye DIY molds base. Um, it was $2.85 with $4 shipping. And in case you didn't catch that at the beginning, you actually do get all six sizes. So they all came together in one package. If you see any red fuzz on these, that's my fault. And because I wanted to actually properly review them, I've already done some casting in them. So I pulled out my UV resin and some white colorant. It took me about one tube of Daiso resin to do two sets of eyes in, I think, two of the smallest molds. Uh, so there's one. They came out really nicely. There was a small chance of getting a bubble right on the rim of the eye, uh, but because these are so see-through, I was able to see it and just kind of get a toothpick in there and get it to move. So that was one pair, and then that's the other pair. And yes, I had already tested to make sure they were set up all the way. So you can see I managed to actually fuse some of that red stuff into the eye. Um, I've been working on making yarn wefts for wigs as well because I'm teaching myself how to do that and I did not consider how much fluff there was on everything. So I'm just going to work with that. These are test pieces anyway. But I'm really happy with these molds. Um, the exact seller I bought them from is sold out of them but there are other very similar listings on Wish uh, and I'm going to say that if you find it and the mold style is like this, then um, they're probably a good buy. Um, rephrase, I do not know if they are a good value, but they are decent quality and they arrived, I think these, um, everything I have is the stuff that took almost four weeks to arrive. Uh, the piece that I lost was the one that arrived within a week. Huge delay between the two, of course I lost it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with these. I'm pretty happy with the quality on this. And since I've never actually done eye making because well, to be completely honest, a lot of this material was not easily available last time I was into dolls. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of excited to try it out. I've got some neat paints and stuff. So the next thing I ordered, because I was like, well, why order just one thing? I'm already here and I'm spending uh, credits because I had managed to earn them somehow through Wish. I don't remember how. So uh, one piece, 15 star 100 doll accessories, curly synthetic fiber wig, hair for doll wigs, high temperature wire, and this was listed as free with $4 shipping. So it was $4 to get. Um, and I haven't pulled it out of the package yet, so I don't know how it feels. We're gonna find that out together. Oh, that's not terrible. Uh, the curls at the bottom are supposed to be there. And I think the numbers at the top, because it was literally 15 star 100, and that is all it said in the description listing below in the the actual item details as well. I think what that actually means is 15 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So I'm not going to try to unfold this because my camera doesn't zoom out that far. Um, this doesn't feel terrible. It does have a fade at the bottom, which I ordered. That is what I ordered was kind of the light blue green to the cream. Uh, there's a specific doll that I have a rough idea of how I want her wig to look. And this is close. Plus I wanted to experiment with different types of wig making. So, um, I'm not sure what the quality on this is. This is the first time I've handled uh, wig wefts like this before. Um, there's some pretty defined spacing caused by the stitching. Let me see if I can get... There's some pretty defined spacing there, and I've been told that can be a sign of low quality, but I ordered off of Wish. I was not expecting, you know, artisan perfection here. Um, I don't know if this is truly bad quality or if this is just, yeah, that's what you should, ex should expect to get off of Wish. Um, but those of you who are more knowledgeable about these things, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know because I'm, I'm learning as I go with these. The third thing I ordered, I'm kind of mad about, honestly, and I'll explain why in a minute. It was 
one pair doll flower high heel shoes for one third one fourth bjd 60 centimeter sd dod dolls shoes corefly corefly it turns out is the manufacturer so some of them will put their names in their listings because on wish you cannot search items uh you can't actually look at what an entire company is listing. So by putting their fairly unique name into the product listing, it actually raises the chance of me being able to find other things by them if I decide I want to. I appreciate that detail. Uh, these were $3.70 with $4 shipping. Uh, they are, I was slightly concerned, but I held them up to my doll's foot. I think they will actually fit like an SD13, SD size. Um, I was trying to see if they would go on my SD16. Uh, that's an actual, yes, Volks SD16, not just me uh, using the common terminology. And that was when I discovered the thing I don't like about these shoes. Uh, this little flower thing, you can see there, it's just kind of put on. Like it's a rhinestone that is like stamped through. This strap does not open in any way. So because my doll has high heel feet, there was just a little too much arch to her foot and I couldn't get her foot in all the way. Or rather, it caught on the strap before I could figure out if it would fit in all the way. Uh, my SD13 is in storage right now. I'm still waiting to be able to reach her around everything else. Uh, so I wasn't able to test these on her. And I just kind of held them up against my uh, SD13 boy's foot. And no, that, that, that wasn't going to happen. Um, Volks makes hefty feet on their dolls. So I'm going to have to alter these if I want them to work. Uh, they are a style that will work really well for my SD13 uh, girl. So once I get her out of storage, I'll see if I can get them to slide onto her feet. And if not, then I'll probably figure out how to like open it up right under the flower and kind of put a hook in there. Um, the quality on these is okay. Uh, I think I'm the one who scuffed these. I don't think these were scuffed in shipping because it took a little time about doing this video because like I said I wanted to actually test the molds first. So overall review, ordering BJD stuff on Wish. Um, craft supplies. I am always a fan of ordering craft supplies on Wish. I'm very happy with my resin molds. Um, I don't think this particular set goes small enough for me to make stuff for my really tiny dolls but I might be able to use this smallest size in uh, my USD size dolls. Uh, I didn't feel like pulling out his eyes to compare them to the mold after I actually got everything done, so I'll figure that out later. But I'm happy with the quality of these molds, and with the variety of sizes, uh, I will be able to get something to work for my dolls. And I'll probably also, like I think I hinted in a different video, I will probably end up making some extra eyes while I'm trying to figure out exactly what aesthetic, what aesthetic I want in the dolls I have. Um, the wig stuff, I mean, I like I said, I really don't know what the quality means. I am pleased with the quantity I got because I'm pretty sure that's enough for me to make. I'm not sure I can go all the way up to making a, a wig for my, my SDs, but I have a lot of smaller dolls who need wigs. Um, so I'm not unhappy with that. And if anybody knows more about wig, wig making and wants to give me some information on that, that's great. Um, the shoes, yeah, the shoes were kind of a mistake. Um, I, I'm not happy I'm going to have to make that kind of alteration on them because I'm not sure I can do it in a way that still looks pretty. Um, so uh, craft supplies, yes. Doll stuff, no. Maybe. I mean, if you want to risk it, if you're waiting three or four months to receive a doll from the manufacturer overseas and you've got the time to mess around and order stuff on Wish, I mean... It is much less expensive than ordering stuff that is officially made for dolls, like through the doll websites or on Etsy or anything else. So if you're just looking to have some cheap pieces around to shove onto a doll so they're not naked, I mean, it's not the worst idea. Um, but like with anything on Wish, the odds are pretty good. The pictures are stolen from somewhere and what you receive is something lower quality based off of the picture you're looking at. Um, so... Yeah, um, buy at your own risk. Um, and that's it. There's a bunch of links down below. Um, I'll see if I can find some kind of link over to Wish uh, that maybe gives me a kickback. I don't know. It, it'll be down below if I can find one. Um, and otherwise, check out all my social media. Check out my Patreon. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to 